Case Customer Creations is sponsored by Bits and Bits. Use the code JBates to save 10% off your next router bit or CNC bit purchase at bitsbits.com. This is a kind of a feeds and speeds bookmark for anybody wanting to cut paper stone in the future. I recently picked up some paper stone and couldn't find much information about it. So that's the whole point of this video. Paper stone is a solid surface sheet good material and my spindle is about six and a half horsepower, but I don't think that type of power is necessary. I think a two horsepower spindle or router could easily handle this material. The bit I'm using is a 3 8 of an inch compression bit, specifically the 535-CM375 from bitsbits.com. The bit is astro-coated to reduce friction and heat buildup, which is beneficial when cutting dense material like this that heats up fast when cutting. I have a, or I'm using a 175 inch per minute travel speed with a 0.25 inch depth of cut per pass. For a cleaner wall of the cut, use a 0.015 inch inset on the last pass. This will clean up the entire wall of the cut on the last pass with a full depth cut along the wall of the cut. And in VCarve Pro, this is accomplished by checking the do separate last pass box in the 2D profile toolpath settings. I also used a 1 8 of an inch roundover bit for the edge profile. And even with a small bit like this, burning can still happen. So slow down the router RPM as much as you can. And a, a fast RPM and slow travel speed is a recipe for burning. Slow down the RPM and keep the router moving at a decent pace for best results. If you're moving too fast, you may get scalloping. So if scalloping happens, then take another pass to clean it up and move slightly slower next time. Hope this helps.